The state of Oklahoma has produced many astronauts over the years. Who were some of these astronauts? Which missions did they participate in? Oklahoma's first astronaut was Gordon Cooper from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Cooper enlisted in the United States Marine Corps as a young man, but eventually transferred to the Air Force. He earned a degree in aerospace engineering in 1956 and was assigned to be a test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Just after the creation of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, Cooper was one of 109 pilots chosen to take part in the selection process to become a part of Project Mercury. Cooper was the youngest of the seven men chosen to be NASA's first astronauts. On May 15, 1963, Cooper launched into space aboard Mercury Atlas 9. He orbited the Earth 22 times, traveling more than 500,000 miles. During that time, he also became the first American to sleep while in space. Cooper returned to space a second time on board Gemini 5. He eventually retired from NASA, having logged 222 hours in space. His early career in NASA has been depicted in the motion picture, The Right Stuff. Tom Stafford, from Weatherford, Oklahoma, graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1952. In 1962, Stafford was chosen as one of NASA's second group of astronauts. He was chosen to participate in both the Gemini and Apollo projects. Stafford entered space in December of 1965 as part of the crew of Gemini 6. He returned to space as the commander of the Gemini 9 mission in 1966. In May of 1969, Stafford commanded the Apollo 10 mission. This mission was essentially a dress rehearsal for the moon landing which would occur during the Apollo 11 flight. The Apollo 10 crew performed every part of the moon landing procedure with the exception of actually landing on the moon. Stafford eventually became the Deputy Director of Flight Crew Operations for NASA. He rose to the rank of Lieutenant General before retiring from the Air Force in 1979. In 1990, he assisted NASA in developing a plan for the next 30 years of space flight. William Pogue, a Choctaw from Okima, Oklahoma, enlisted in the Air Force in 1951. In 1955, he became a member of the Thunderbirds, the Air Force's elite aerial demonstration team. He was selected as an astronaut in 1966. Pogue traveled into space as the pilot of the Skylab 4 mission. This was the last of the manned missions to the Skylab space station. During this mission, he and his fellow astronauts completed more than 50 experiments and more than 20 scientific demonstrations. Owen K. Garriott was born and raised in Enid, Oklahoma. He received a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from the University of Oklahoma before joining the Navy in 1953. He also earned a PhD in electrical engineering from Stanford University in 1960. Garriott was selected as one of six scientist astronauts in 1965. He first went into space as part of the Skylab 3 mission in 1973. As part of this mission, he and his fellow astronauts conducted a wide variety of experiments on the sun. Garriott also established a new record, staying in space for 60 days. This was more than twice the length of the previous record. Garriott returned to space 10 years later aboard Space Shuttle Columbia. Shannon Lucid was raised in Bethany, Oklahoma. She earned a Ph.D. in biochemistry from the University of Oklahoma in 1973. Lucid was selected for astronaut training in 1978, one of the first six women selected for such training. Lucid first traveled into space on board Space Shuttle Discovery in 1985. She returned to space in 1989, 1991, 
and 1993. In 1996, Lucid spent 188 days aboard the Mir space station. This lengthy stay established two records. She had spent more time in orbit than any other American, and more time in space than any other female. In 2003, Lucid became NASA's chief scientist, and in 2014, she was selected to the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame. From the era of the land run, through the space age, Oklahomans have always had a pioneer spirit. There is little doubt that future Oklahomans will continue shooting for the stars.